Welcome. It's so nice to see you. So you guys are early. I'm a little bit early. I'm not usually early because I have to be careful with my data and battery and other things. Um, but I have a special surprise for you guys. You guys will get to enjoy all of the 32 pages I've already made of this travel journal. So I'm going to show you guys over the next five minutes. Okay. Hi, Jill and Tina. Kasti, Sarah and the girls, um, Lisa, Ruth, uh, Shameka, Dee, Mandy, Toshiaki, Tracy. Hello everyone, nice to see you, thanks for coming. I'll introduce myself again in a sec, but you guys are gonna get this little extra bit, okay? So let's have a look over here. Hello Pikachu, a few other things on my desk. Um, hello, nice to see you in South Carolina. Let me show you inside this travel journal. Okay, so you guys are early, you're getting a five minute preview of this, okay. So I was making this for about three months on Hago. I did it, um, maybe I did it in July and August and September because it was so hot in Japan that I couldn't do many tours outside. So I was coming up with ways to do tours inside. Hi everyone, just coming in, nice to see you. Susan, JV, Marilyn, Danette, Tina, nice to see you. Um, this is not the start of the tour, this is bonus part of the tour, okay? So we're having a look at my previous pages. Um, I'll introduce myself properly in a moment. So we have Hoi there. Um, that was in Vietnam. This was in uh, Nara with Hero. I'm just, I'm not going to go super slowly. Okay, just giving everyone a little look. Here's Ashraf here. Ian. Birmingham. For Bourneville chocolate. You see totally different styles for each of them. It depends what postcards I've got and it depends on um, how I'm feeling. Um, Leslie in Egypt. Here we've got Hero again in Nara. So Hero's the one that um, welcomed me to Hey Go. So that's why Hero's in here quite a lot. And I also write I write things. It's a proper little journal of my feelings of traveling around on Hey Go tours. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rob. Nice to see you. Here we've got Robin Rock in Ukraine. Oh, Stand with Ukraine. Sorry, this was in New Orleans. Hi TM, nice to see you. Hi Rob C, nice to see you. This was with Atsuko in Osaka. Guys, this is a pre-tour, just looking through the book, okay? So you guys are a little bit earlier. Um, here are with Nara again and the plum blossoms were coming into view. We're two or three months, or two months until plum blossoms show their faces, their lovely faces. Atsuko as well. Japanese flower garden, apricot flowers. And I always write my feelings too. It's so nice to walk around this area with Atsuko. I felt really familiar, it felt really familiar to me. And I think I had been there before, perhaps on a tour with Susie back in January 2020. The plum blossoms were first coming into view, and it was the year of the tiger, which we can see here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mary Lou. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since we've had these tours, hasn't it? I'm going to have to pick up the pace as I show you these through here. Loads of lovely different locations. These are all from my own Hey, what, from Hago tours that I've been on, so not my tours, my own postcards. Hi, Judith. Nice to see you. We've got a minute and a half until we start. Hi, Anna. We've got loads of wonderful places. Lots of Japan, because of course I had to kind of scope out what the other guides were doing while I was learning to be a guide myself around this kind of time. That was Australia. Here we had a Chinese garden in Australia, which was amazing. It was nice to see the difference between Chinese and Japanese ones. Back with Hero, lovely little deer guy. This was in Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. Sadie's birthday, special disco. Here's the plum grove at Inabe Central Park with Toshi, another Japanese guide. 
this was also in Japan. This was with, um, oh my goodness, how am I losing it? Tamea. <laughs> Hi, Elisa, Judith, Anna, nice to see you. This was my friend's tarot card reading that they did on Hey Go. Mary Lou, Cheryl, nice to see you. I've just, this is a little bit transparent, but I added some words for this. Koya-san, a lot of great Japanese guides, you know. Um, in Banff, this was a Hey Go Guide Academy. The most stunning view of Mount Fuji was the name. I've put th I've put four or five postcards together into this one page that I created here. We've officially started now, so I'll just continue showing you the next couple of pages. I think we're just about there. This was in Australia, Brazil, Australia. Hi, Daniel B. Hi, Elisa. Hi, Anna, Judith. I think you might be getting two hellos, some of you, in the UK where I'm from. This one with Ginny. And here's our lovely page today. So welcome, everybody. Let me turn the camera around and say hello again. Hi, Pikachu, we say. Oh, I'm just loaded in Pikachu's. Pikachu's all over me. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Japan. Welcome to my <laughs> welcome to my tour. Of course, I'm in Japan because there's just Pikachu's in front of me and on me and everywhere. If you don't have two Pikachu's in front of you, you're not actually in Japan. So next time you speak to Atsuko or someone on their tour, ask them how many Pikachu's are in front of them, and you'll be able to know whether or not they're really in Japan. That's what I'm saying. So welcome. It is 12 lunchtime in Japan. I've already had my little rice balls for lunch and a few other things. Um, and uh, in one hour, so I'm keeping to time because in one hour, Pallavi is going to continue the Hago Mindfulness Retreat. As you can tell by the numbers, there's not many people here. Um, this is not, well, there's a lot of you here. I appreciate all of you being here, but there's not a hundred like there was on the Mindfulness Retreat. I really hope Pallavi gets all of those on her mindfulness retreat when she makes um, a mandala with everybody. But I hope you guys have been having a wonderful morning or evening or night or whatever you've been doing with myself, Alex and Joe and Delena and Pallavi is coming up soon. This is not part of the mindfulness retreat. So um, I think you'll agree it's mindful, but it's not technically part of it. It's just something I've used to fill in the gap in the calendar which I don't think is a gap anymore because I think Atsuko has also filled something in the calendar. Um, okay, so let's get started. My name is Miss Kendall James. Um, well, I'm Kendall James. Please call me Miss Kendall James if you want to find me on social media. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera. We're going to have a look at lovely little Pikachu here. Um, basically today, what we're doing is filling up this beautiful kimono covered handmade um, washi paper. Washi paper is Japanese paper. What just means um, Japanese authenticity, Japanese style. We've got 32 different, um, 32 different records in here from my uh, postcards that I've taken on Heigo. And we're going to fill up this book. And just now, if you missed the mindfulness retreat section, I'll just give you a little, little look at the, um, at the page I made, just in case you want to see what my weekly journal is going to look like, here's my weekly journal page. So you can have a little postcard of that yourselves. And then I'm going to bounce that out of the way. Yes, I've glued a whole fluffy into the book and it better stay fluffy. That's all I'm saying. Stay in the book, fluffy. Okay, my lovely um, brother and his partner sent me this book. So that's what that one is all about. Um, now I'm going to see if I can get you. Oh, that's totally off center now, isn't it? Let's see what we can do. Yeah, incredible paper. I've got to say, when the book arrived, I was like, oh my goodness, what is this smell? It smelled like an actual farmyard because it's got real leather and real paper and all kinds of things like that. And I was like, what is going on? What has arrived from what country? But, um, of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, please check me out on linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James. And you can see some of the other art and things that I create, including wonderful New Year's cards. Today we are looking through all of my postcards. Um, I'm doing everything chronologically according to when I watched it. OK, uh, hi, Linda, Gregory, Laurie, Carlos, Marilyn, Melissa, Sherilyn, Nola, TC. It is so nice to see you, Alyssa. Hello. You're all very lovely. Thank you very much for sharing your link. Please do give that a little click, guys, if, if it's clickable to you. 
Okay, so next up, we're actually going to see Stefan in Amsterdam. Okay, if I forget Amsterdam, please let me know. Amsterdam, 25th of April. I just need to write those down last year. Um, Amsterdam, 25th of, oh, make that look like a five, April, 2022. That's 2022. I don't want to make a mistake there. Um, yes. Did I click on it? No, I clicked on something else. Let's see what happens. Uh, just here. I've only been on 144s, but 44 tours, but I have given 415 tours. So forgive me. I've been a little bit busy. So I never know what this page is going to look like. I've got no idea. Um, all I know is I'm going to look through the postcards with you and try and conjure up some ideas of what I think it should look like. So let's see. Hi, Stephanie. Lovely. Nice to see you. Um, and may I just clear something up? Uh, but three people in the last couple of days have given me condolences from my father. But my father is alive and as well as can be, considering he lives in a care home. So I don't know where any wires have become crossed. But to save people continuing to give me condolences in um, in other people's tours, I'm just going to say now, my my father is alive. I really hope so. Anyway, if he's not, then I'm about to be very devastated. But he's alive, as far as I know. Okay, everybody? My father is well. Okay, here we've got beautiful um, tulips in Amsterdam. And Stefan was rushing through all of the tulips to give us these really impressive views. There's all kinds here. I bet the smell of that was really quite something. I love the softness of the petals and things. Um, let's see what we can create. Hmm. I've got to try and you're going to see how my mind works at the same time. So we've got other people. I probably would cut that out. Try not to get other people in. Stefan and his shoes. I think, oh, I think his shoes could, could fit in there. That could be quite fun, couldn't it? Um, so we'll see about getting that one in there or like this or like this. How do you think the shoes should go in with Stefan or maybe, maybe I'll just go shoes and sky and tulips. We'll see what comes of that. I think that'll make it. I've got to try and make sure I can fit Palabi's tour in after. Yeah, I'll go for big yellow shoes. Um, Sham Shameka says, so beautiful. Love tulips. We have a tulip festival here in the spring. Lovely. Yeah, this was April in, in Amsterdam. I think. I think I'll go with those because it's the most clear, right? So what I'm going to do is start with, like, what I do is a kind of collage, actually. I'm going to start with the shoes in the foreground. No. <laughs> shoes only. Two people say no of no offence to Stefan. <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much, guys. You've actually made my job easier because it takes a, takes a little while to draw people. And, hmm, what kind of tools shall I use? I've got these lovely pencils in here in a pencil case my best friend made for me. And again, over here, I've got the same. Um, hmm, I want the shoes to stand out. So I think I'm going to use felt tip. Oh, if I can even, ooh, there we go. If I can even get it out of there. Let's see, see what happens. So I'm going to try and draw them quickly with my arms around the gimbal. We'll see what happens. I'm hugging you guys. Um, we're getting lots of hugs today, what with Alex giving us all of those hugs as well. And now you might think, how is she drawing that so confidently? It is just practice, my friends. My nail just got in the way, so I just drew around my nail as well. Um, see, still human. Um, it's just practice. So if you think she did that without really thinking, I didn't really think. That's true. But it's because I am practised. I hope everyone is doing well. You're welcome to chat to me during this and I'll try and um, try and get back to you guys as I can, as I think it's appropriate. Um, and it fits the fits the tour. But of course, I'll try and keep the time, especially today. Usually it takes me about um, 18 to 30 minutes to create one of the pages. I'm going to try and do them in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes or so. Now, one way you can get shading is to do some of your gradients in a different direction. Notice I'm using a kind of felt tip pen. It's called a click art. 
Um, and I could go backwards and forwards, scribbling and scribbling, but actually it would ruin the um, quality of the paper beneath the pen. Um, also, it would create quite a blotchy effect. So if I do loads of lines like this, it looks like it's coloured in, but um, it hasn't affected the quality of the paper and it hasn't left loads of marks all over my... It hasn't left loads of imperfections in the ink drawing as well. Let me see if I can explain what I mean on a separate piece of paper in just a moment. I've tried to recreate the kind of um, shadowed effect just there. Okay, let me see. Do I have another piece of paper? I think I got a test piece. No, test piece is not here. Test piece gave up. That was for a different thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. What I mean is, you could do this. Which might look nice. You're gonna run out of ink very, very fast. Um, and on this paper, it's different quality. It blends nicely on this one. So I did lots of lines like this. You know, you might not like one, you might like the other, you decide. But um, I know that that first one is gonna drain my ink like nobody's business. One second. I'm gonna cover your, cover your eyes for a second. Coming in. Just feels blurry. Wee, 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 wee. Let me see. Less blurry? I hope so. I don't know what's been making my lens blurry at the moment, but I think there might be an imperfection within the glass. Or who even knows? Hello, Gabby. People can't sneak up on you wearing wooden shoes. True. Hi, Sarai, and hi, Trenda. Nice to see you. Um, let's get the other shoe in the background. Yeah, so these felt tips are called... Oh, wrong one. They're called click art. I quite like them. I found them by accident. Um, the only thing is, if you're trying to secretly do a sneaky little drawing, which might not sound like something you guys do do very often, but it is something I attempt to do sometimes, um, then people can hear you clicking your pen. So I've tried to um, tried to be drawing during a jazz concert before, and I was just going click, click, click. So you know. Good points and bad points. But I quite like them. They're quite convenient to carry around. And it's nice to have a kind of grown-ups feeling felt tip pen. Felt tip pens definitely feel like something kids use, but I'm not afraid of using whatever I like to do my colouring and drawing. Right. Let's think about how to get lots of tulips into the picture. Ooh, there we go, click in the background. I saw a nice one that was looking right up. This is quite fun, but I also want to convey all of the different colors. So maybe I'll do those uppy pointing ones. Try and keep the time here. Hi, Donna, hi, um, Pallavi, I'm guessing that's you. We've got um, Women for World in the room. So Pallavi's tour will be next. You know what? Let's do a kind of collage. I quite like all these little dotty ones. And let's go for dotty ones and then some uppy ones. We're going to we're going to collage some things together. Now, what I need first is a special bit of card to go underneath. Oh, to go underneath my picture. It seems to be missing. What I'm going to do is just pop this one underneath. So I'm going to do some dots and I'm going to use an alcohol based pen. And it is going to bleed through to the other side. Bleed on through to the other side. So let's grab a few bits here and there. These are going to be called, oh, these are called, these are going to be called, I should speak in more proper English, shouldn't I? These are going to be called, these are called <laughs> Copic Marcus. Um, and as you can see, I've just selected a bunch of them that are going to match the tulip colours. I'm going to do the yellow and orange colour first. Um, I'm going to do slightly bigger ones. Wait, let's go dot, 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 the small ones. Over here. And then as they come towards the foreground, I want them to be um, bigger. Oh, look, that's handy. The tip of the brush is a kind of tulip shape anyway. So that's great. We've got loads and loads of pens and pencils arriving on the scene here at... Um, Casa de Kendaru, Ma Kendall's house. 
uh, yeah, look, it's got a kind of tulip shape already. That's pretty helpful. So I'm doing a stamping one side and then the other, getting um, getting a little tulip head, I think. And in the, oh, you're gonna need to put this through here. It's good, bleeding through to the other side, but I don't mind the effect. I'm going to roll with the effect even bigger in the foreground here. Um, these pens smell pretty bad, but actually they're the kind that, um, they smell like alcohol, so they don't smell bad. Um, but they're the kind that manga artists, so Japanese comic book artists use, actually. Hi, David, nice to see you. Donna, sorry, I can't remember if I said hello to you. I think I probably did. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the yellow tones first. I think this is almost the same colour. Um, because the darker tones, they are too strong, so the yellow won't show up over them. So this will be a good base for where my other colours are going to go. Can I also add a little bit to this shoe? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So the alcohol marker will get streaky unless I work really fast. So there you go. I worked really fast to make sure that it didn't um, it didn't create a streaky effect. Let me see. <clears throat> sometimes the lighting in here is great, and sometimes the um, the sun goes down just outside. So let me try and rectify that for you guys. There we go. I think that is probably a little bit more easy to see. I'm trying to fit everything in the screen nicely for you. I realise I'm making a right mess on the side. Um, so these these are Hago Travel Journal tours. They are not uh, tutorials, but the idea is that generally people pick up quite a lot of um, new ideas for if you do like to make art and I try to teach you that it doesn't really matter how your art comes out just live in the moment and see what happens and hopefully you'll get some interesting results and for me it's mostly about record keeping um, keeping the memories ever since I was a, a young teenager a very young teenager actually I've really loved taking pictures I used to use a disposable camera everywhere I went so it's not just things like Instagram that have had me being interested in photography. I've always been interested in it. Ooh, they're really tiny back there. Oh, and they actually fade into just lines in the very background. Let me see if I can get some just lines in there. So, yes. Any questions? Hi, Talia Tony. Hi, Patricia. Nice to see you. We're recreating um, Stefan's tulip adventure from April, but I'm going to have to pick up the pace, I think. So let's just see what I create. We can. Enjoy the pen sounds for a second. They have two sides to them, this one and this one. Loads of lovely pinks and reds. I try and hold the pen upwards then I can use the tip of it to make the top of the um, tulip. And again, press down a little bit more down at the bottom to make it a little bit thicker. I think probably Stefan is gearing up to do this tour again soon. I guess Hago tours go on a little bit of a cycle, I expect. You guys are all being very obediently quiet. Hi, Talia, Tony. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Samantha. Extra hello for that, Talia and Tony, because they've dropped me a little hello if you'd like one. You know how to do it, I hope, I think. I think I've got a darker red over here. I'll try and tidy as I go in a second, I think. Tidy house, tidy mind. 
a little bit, or at least for me, that's how it works for me. Some people prefer the chaos. I have a kind of organized chaos considering how many things I own because I love making stuff. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do little dots over here to show the other ones as it bleeds into the next part of the picture. We're all on schedule. Yeah, that does look a little bit like pointillism, doesn't it? That's nice. Nice point, no pun intended at all. Okay. I'm always excited to see what comes out of these travel journal pages and I love supporting the other guides too, but I really love not knowing what's coming and then finding out with you guys at the same time. It's exciting. But if I know there might be a surprise, if someone tries to tell me there's a surprise coming, I don't really like that. I prefer to just be told the surprise. Come on, light. Behave. There we go. Nola, thank you very much, lovely, for choosing to leave me a tip in that instance. You see, that's bled through there, but it's quite pretty. It's very kind of you. That's lovely, Alyssa. Alyssa says she's taking the time to organise her to-do list and write in her planner. So I'm really glad, yeah. I wonder why everyone was so but are they okay? Now you might see that I hold my pe pencils in some really interesting ways. Sometimes I like to get kind of flicking effects. I think my book is in an odd position right now, so I might not be able to do that this time. Um, but let's see what we can get. We've got some darker petals and things popping out from the sides. I'll try not to rock the um, rock, rock the bow. I'll try not to rock the gimbal too much. The gimbal being the stabilizer holding my holding my phone, and that is also linked to my table via a clamp. So thank you very much for your tip contributing to my costs, such as things like that. Even from my home, there are still costs. Okay, so I'm just going upwards. If you're doing something that you want to end in a nice point. It's a good idea to start from the bottom of it um, and all the way along here to start from the bottom and lift up but also I'm just gonna turn it on its side after a while and fill in some of the gaps with a rough effect the idea is to not take too long have fun be quick and teach yourself that you can make art in even short amounts of time. In fact, a lot of my art is made in a reasonably or relatively short amount of time. So please encourage yourself to practice the art of doing the same because it will allow you to make more and do more with your time. The same goes for things like meditation and stuff that you might have learned about today um, and a little bit of Reiki and a little bit of yoga. Maybe even a tiny bit of your mandala colouring once you learn to do that with Pallavi later. Again, this is not part of the mindfulness retreat. This is just something I'm doing myself. Um, finding even just, you know, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes to fit these things into your life. You'll start to build habits over time. And then you'll find yourself doing things that you really, really love doing more and more often. What could be better? Nothing. Nothing is better than doing more of what you love. Okay. Right, that side I think is looking pretty acceptable. I think it's looking pretty nice actually, I like it. Let's get some of these hints of leaves in the foreground. You can do a lot of suggestive work, not saucy suggestive work, just a, oh, this light is useless. Useless light. I'm going to invest in another one, please. Thank you very much, Women for the World at Palavi. Thank you very much for contributing towards my future light, which is going to be a good one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Linda, that you're mentally wiped right now. 
Oh, Shameka says, I was going to color with color with you, but I love watching you. Hi, Erica. Long time. Laurie's mesmerized. Very kind. Thank you. Yeah, it could have been part of the retreat. I didn't want to take over having um having two two tours. Alex had two, but he's well known for for the relevant things. And so he was the kind of header and footer. But we do actually have Palabi yet to come. Oh, Linda says I'm making her feel better, even though some things have been just not going to plan by the sounds of it. So well done for keeping at keeping at. Um, let me see. We're at 25 minutes into the tour. And I started this about 16 minutes ago. This is what I like. I like I want to try and fill up this side with the randomness of the kind of big tulips. And I also really love <clears throat> the opacity of the pink there. Um, I'd like to use paint for that, to be honest, but I'm not sure if I can get it to dry in fast, uh, in fast, in time. Let me see. I've got an idea. So I've got a little bit of paint there, but it's the wrong colours. Yes, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's paint some of these in. I've got this new gouache. I'm actually not sure how to say it. I looked online and it said gouache but I'm not happy with gouache. I think that sounds a bit stupid, so I'm not going to say gouache. Um, but I'm just going to try and make up a little pink colour because actually painting makes things happen a bit faster as well. So we'll fill up the time nicely. And after this, my next page will be in Bhutan. Um, so that's exciting. It was a food one, and I know I want to do a little bit of painting on that. So we've got some clouds happening up here. Let me think, think of a way I can kind of quickly fill up this page without making you guys feel rushed or anything. I'm not trying to rush anyone here. So I've already got water ready. I'm going to I'm going to mix in a little bit of water. It was kind of a cloudy day by the looks of it. So I'm going to go with a touch of black, a touch of white and blue. There's already a bit of white and blue mixed up there. And I'm not going to mix it much. I'm just going to put it on the page and see what happens very very roughly and here and there I'm going to add a bit more white and a bit more water right this is the second time I've ever put gouache on um, paper or on anything the second time I've ever ever used it so I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't really mind that's the thing whenever I get a new tool or something I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't really mind <laughs> and I encourage you guys to actively think in the same kind of way if you can because nothing really matters nothing really matters anyone can see okay i'm gonna go for a little bit of cloud i think that conveys moodiness i think we got something going on there oh lovely what does that say first kuchenhof trip of the season is on the 23rd of March. Lovely. Thank you, Sarai, for sharing a link for that. Yep, this is Stefan in um, Amsterdam. You said gouache. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> gouache is how I've always thought you should say it. I am joining you for the first time. Oh, thank you very much, Palavi. That's really nice of you to be here for the first time and be enjoying it so. Um, right. I'm going to get some of this white tentatively add it just over here i'm going to try and make a pink but i don't know how these respond really i don't know how these paints respond to being used i'm going to add in water i don't really know if that's what you're meant to do with them but i do know that i love the opacity i love that um opaque tint that they have where you can't see through them because I love a bold colour. So let's try and get some big tulips in here. I'm going to use the shape of the brush, press down, and I'm playing with perspective. So this is going to have, um, it's suddenly going to have a kind of Dali effect. Like, why are there giant tulips here? But I'm cool with that. I like that. All of the pages in this book are made up of a kind of collaged effect of all kinds of different things coming together i'm gonna get the base of some of the tulips and then go high and use the top of the brush to try and get the point of the tulip here 
Ooh, that's not going so well, but that's fine. We forgive it. We forgive them if they're not going to behave today. It's the first time they've been in my hands, so I forgive them. Hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you. You booked on the Tulips tours already. That's incredible. I didn't know they were bookable already. Oh, this paint is very interesting. This gouache. Not, um, I've always wanted to use it, basically. Always, always. Um, but actually, I got reignited in my desire to use it when I, um, my friend Kate Smith on Instagram, since I've been in Japan, she's been making wonderful gouache, uh, sorry, gouache um, art. And I even asked her about um, a year and a half ago about it so that I could get some for myself. Um, and I just deemed that it might be a bit too heavy and I didn't know if I was going to get to stay in Japan. And although I don't have proof of being able to stay in Japan right now, I feel like I'm not getting kicked out anytime soon. So here we are experimenting with a new type of paint. I bought some. Okay. Just going to try and put some over others. Now, I've got a plan if this doesn't dry in time, which it might not. I've got a plan to rest it so that it doesn't disturb my other page or stick to anything. And I've got to add the date and I've got to add Stefan's name as he's the um, original tour guide for this series here. I'm not looking at your messages right now, but I'll try and check after, okay? Let's try and pretend these darker ones are just sort of in the background, but still being Still being big. Okay, I'm calling that for that one. I'm going to wipe my brush. I tend to get the excess paint off first so I don't dirt up my water too fast. So Linda makes, does, combines maths and art together. Sorry, math, math and art, maths and art. That's lovely, Sarai. I'm glad he's got two to book. Sounds like squash. Yeah, I love squash. So that's one reason I'm okay with it. But true. True. Um, now, green, we can make that. If there's anything that's missing in your life, make it yourself. I mean, I've got green right in front of me, so I'm just showing off now, but Making a right mess of my paint so you see exactly how I work. Okay, it looks like they're kind of red at the top. Let's go red. And then green can come up. I should probably be a bit more, more careful about where my fingers go. And I'd probably get the ones in the foreground a little bit more thick. There we go. Cover over some of them. Yep, yeah, I think that's looking mysterious. And then I'm going to continue the base in the green colour that I can see. That is okay. Yeah, I like it. It's just a bit of fun. I'm also going to add lots of skinny bits of green in the background to kind of show that there might be lots of other ones behind. Nothing has to be perfect. We are just hanging out and making a memory. I don't know what perfect is anyway. Bunch of nonsense. <laughs> I'm really messing up that white there. Okay, I'm going to try and get some, if I hold it a little bit more loosely, maybe I can get the Strange shapes of the um, the flowers. Add a little blue suddenly. The strange shapes of the leaves, excuse me. Do you see that? Hold it, twist and push. And I get some kind of unique shapes occurring in here. A blend of... Um, watercolour and acrylic. 
I actually thought it, yeah, I I thought it was just a watered down acrylic. Excuse me, I've just gone to get pink. That's not going to do anything good for my for my leaves. So yes, I think that's what it is. Well, look, we're getting real surreal now because I've accidentally gone and made red leaves. Well, I'm going to have to find a way to blend that in. But yes, it makes wonderfully posterized looking um, pieces. I follow lots of great gouache artists online. Okay, right. We're coming up to a good time for me to add the fine details being the name and the date and then move on to the next page. So squeeze the excess. Wash this one, be a little careful. Linda forces math into art to make it an activity. Actually, I'm not very good at um, mathematic algorithms. However, I can do things like dressmaking, which turns plenty of 2D things into wonderful 3D things. So there are many, many ways to combine design and art for sure. Tulips don't originate in Europe at all. They come from Kazakhstan. No, I didn't know. But yes, you do seem to love the tulip tours. Okay, I'm going to try not to stick my hand in that. Um, and I've got to add the details before we go on to the next tour and not run over lovely um, Pallavi's tour. You know what? I'm going to write some of the details in green. I think it will look, I think it will look nice up here. I'm going to write, it's tulip time. I expect he's said that plenty of times. Oh, 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 go careful, Kendall. Go careful. My little mitts are getting covered in, in paint, of course. Okay, embracing the tulip experience. Embracing the tulip. Tulip, not the paint. Tulip experience. Okay, I'm trying not to get myself all mixed up in that mess over there. Um, let's get the date on it. It was the 25th of April. I normally write that in Japanese. I have to write 2022. I have to be careful because it's from last year. I'm not thinking about 2023. April. Yeah, Shigatsu. January, February, March, April. Yep. Shigatsu. Ane niju. Niju go nichi. And this was with Stefan in Amsterdam. Well, there we go. I think that conveys quite a lot of the um, of the nisness. By that, I mean the feeling of the postcards is what I was trying to convey. Okay, let's have a little look. See what we've got. That's the first one conveying the nisness of tulips thank you very much becky that's very very kind of you i'm going to move on to the next page now we're going to bhutan and while we look through the pictures um i'm just going to let that dry i think it's going to dry very very quickly so we're going to be in a we're going to be in a good way everybody excuse the strange colors arriving on my hands from all of the paints yes erica says it's like alice in wonderland when she was tiny i love it i love it Okay, I have to go on to the next page of my tours here, the ones I've attended. Um, let me think. I wonder if anyone can remember the date for me or if I should write it down. So you can access all of your own tours whenever you like. This is with, one second, I'm going to write it down. Okay, 27th, 27th of April, Beatrix in Bhutan. Now, the reason I went on the Bhutanese tour is because I teach English here in Japan and one of my lessons features Bhutan and I really wanted to know where on earth Bhutan was. I'm not embarrassed to say I didn't know. I'm not embarrassed to say if I don't know something, even though you might think I should be embarrassed, but I didn't know. And I'm glad I do know a little bit more about that now and about some of the lovely food. But look at these. I really wanted to recreate these um, with the paint actually i thought the orange bowls just need to stand out with that paint i think so we're going to make a much quicker piece that will um dry in its own time but look at those 
good, I think. Lovely kind of um, pancakes and rice and grains and um, veggies and all sorts here. I love it. I love things that look small. So little plates of food and things are great. Linda, thank you so much for leaving me a tip. That's really kind. There's a, three of you that have left tips and I'm so grateful. It really does help contribute towards the time that us guides put in and even though this is a tour from my home there's still costs and things involved so thank you so much now to get to bring this one together what I think I'm going to do is quickly convey this background in pencil if I do it in pencil then it's going to be a little bit blurred which I think will be great um you know what I might be almost recreating one picture so it's going to be two pictures total um this is a tiny bit wet how am I going to counteract that I got an idea. Right. Plastic sheet. Plastic sheet. Yes, plastic sheet covered over. Lovely. So what do you really know? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm from the UK, so most places I know are in Europe. I know a small amount about America. I live in Japan, so I know quite a lot about Japan. I'm the product of the places I've been, um, which I think is a fair enough thing for anyone to say. I'm not here to be um, judged. I'm very happy to um, know Hago and to have a better grasp of geography. But um, I didn't do very well in school. I did very well in, actually, I did very well in history and um, art and social studies and music but I did not excel in science maths or geography these days I love geography but yeah it was it was difficult I had a different different kind of upbringing than you might expect but that is not for this tour my friends do I know what you know do more of us know Bhutan Tibetan style Buddhism you probably know loads more than me, so go ahead and go ahead and teach us if you're feeling so generous. I would appreciate it, honestly. Um, I'm actually thinking of making a, a type of tour that is teach me stuff. Hi, Leo. My partner is here um, to enjoy our company. So I'm going to shake the screen around a little bit. I apologize. Um, I'm just getting a rough outline of a kind of kitchen in the background here. Trying not to shake it too much. Hi, lovely. Otsukare Samades. Are you on your break? That's my fiance, everybody. That's what this cute little ring belongs to. That, that lovely guy. Little, little crazy, lovely guy. So I'm afraid to keep to time. I'm not going to run over Pallavi's tour. Um, I won't be able to catch up with all of the chat. I'm going to try not to um, shake the screen too much while I continue. I've got a new black pencil. I seem to have run the other one down to nothingness, which actually ooh, I was quite proud of. It's quite a good feeling to have used the pencil up to its nothingness point. I know children are often really proud of how small they can make their pencil, but they seem to have sharpened it to smithereens for no reason. So it's a different kind of affection they have there. Excuse the screen having a little earthquake shake if it is. Okay, so just trying to create an approximate feeling of some kind of kitcheny like thing happening there. Ooh, Bhutan has been known as the happiest land in the world. Why? Is it because of the Tibetan Buddhism? How curious, said, said Alice over here. Do tell me, is it because the food is so good? I don't know what all of these instruments of culinary torture are over here, um, but they're getting included in this unusually fast little sketchy something I'm, I'm creating over here. You have to trust me, these things come together.
two come together. I now owe you the highest degree of understandings. Ooh, okay. They have almost no food. Oh, well, I'm representing this. My understanding of Bhutan is that the food they have, they create with love and they make very interesting from, I can imagine they don't have much food because they um, make all kinds of tiny little dishes is what I learned, um, which makes me think of some of my favorite food, which is um, Greek food. There's lots of tiny dishes there. We've got 15 minutes left, which is a perfect amount of time. I'm pleased with pleased with that. Thank you all for being here. I hope you're enjoying the curious way in which this, this artist, myself, creates. And recently I just uploaded lots and lots of, so yesterday I put four um, uncut Hago tours on, um, on YouTube. I have a huge amount of gratitude towards my sponsors who really help me, who keep me going. I actually don't get many tips at all on my tours and it's starting to become a little bit of a, a hindrance because it means I'm not making the costs of either my equipment or um, or my travel expenses. So a huge thank you to my sponsors that help me feel like I have enough of what I need so that I can do things like upload stuff to YouTube for those that miss things and all kinds of other stuff. Thank you so much, lovelies. Just a few of you in the room right now, but I love you all. And I love all of you voyagers. It is very important that you're all here or else I'm just I'm doing that karaoke thing and just doing an empty orchestra. OK, can you see a kitchen? Does it look like a kitchen? I don't know what that is back there, but it's in my page now. Try not to shake your screen too much, sorry. OK. You see, I like to hold the pencil on the side to cover a lot of land quickly. That's what I call it. A lot of space. I will check your messages in just a second. Okay, I think we have enough time to fit the food and things in. Oh no, I'm losing, losing a thing. Okay. Thank you, Talia. That's very, very kind of you. It's mostly my sponsors that tip me as well. And I'm a bit concerned that people think that my sponsors are covering me for a lot of money. They're definitely helping, but like I said, your tips are very, very much appreciated. Thank you. And don't worry, I understand not everybody can tip. I do understand. Right, before we get the um, the details in with the paint, which I'm going to try and do nice and quickly, um, I'm just going to add the main details that we need in here. So, Nisa Niju Nineng, so it was last year, very poor kanji just there. Please don't judge my kanji based on this moment with a gimbal in front of me 27th of oh that's very appalling kanji we'll let it go though please be kind <laughs> please be kind to me um and i'm going to write oh what's the name of the tour enjoy an authentic bhutanese dinner with us let me see can I do it in a nice way? Enjoy an authentic. My spelling can be atrocious even when I'm right in front of the thing, so just have to be a bit careful here. Bhutan. Ooh, Bhutan is dinner. with us so she was with her friends um and over here where shall i write it beatrix hmm.
Beatrix in for Tan. She gets a love heart. She gets a love heart. Okay, I'm putting the food in just here. Thank you very much, TM. That's so kind of you. So I want these lovely dishes like this. I've got 10 minutes before Pallavi's tour. Let me see what I can fit in here. I think I can do it. Do you believe? I believe. Let's get a nice little brush. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to see if I can work nice and quickly. I've noticed in a short time of using gouache that it um, layers very, very quickly, which is great. So I can see I can get some black in over here. And I think I can put orange on top without it causing much of a problem, which I think is great. It's going to be a little abstract because we're just making a memory. I'm just trying to remember the lovely experience of this Hago tour. It doesn't matter if it, if my interpretation is glorious or it might be to you guys, it might not be to other people. They might think, oh, why does she think that was worth making a video of? But I'm not here, <laughs> not here to serve those opinions. I'm here to maintain my memories in my in my own special documentation way i hope you guys are enjoying that i'll check your messages as and when i can just trying to make some little spaces hints of where the shadow and things would be i use a square brush because i like the way it fills in fills in space quite quickly um just add a shot here with that I don't know what this is, some kind of, oh, it's a cushion on the ground. I'm using the shape of the square brush. I try and let other things do work for me. So if I'm already putting in a lot of effort, if I can, um, if I can have the brush do half of the job, then I'm, I'm laughing is what I think. Okay, I'm here. Sometimes my best pages have come out of speed painting. So I'm totally happy to, um, to do a kind of speed painting. Because sometimes the best things come from not overthinking is my, um, is my reasoning for that. That's what I think was going on there. Let's see. Um, I'm just using this Sakura acrylic gouache this is a japanese one it's the first one i've ever used so don't consider me um don't consider me an expert in um in anything to do with that i'll i'll be honest if i think i'm an expert in something saving time also wasting time i'm a murderer because i kill time there's a uh, I've got all kinds of sayings for you. <laughs> okay. I'm loving it at the moment. It's got um an almost oily like quality. Um, but it goes on smooth as if I don't know, it's lotion. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. I like it. Okay, we've got to get some orange bowls in here. Thank you guys. BFN XO High. What is that? BFN XO hi. Hello, anyone who's just come in. Barry, Colleen, Sue, nice to see you guys. You are wonderful. Thank you very much for joining us. Right. I'm going to, I'm going to honestly wash that brush after. Just give me a moment. I've just got seven minutes. I see the seven minutes. I'm going to make myself a pretty orange. Okay, the inside of the bowls. I think I need a little bit of water to loosen up the gouache it's my first gouache sorry gouache or whatever it's called <laughs> okay inside of the bowl some of them are really bright yes i'm right it does go over the other one lovely there's a bowl upside down there that's a really interesting thing it looks like in bhutan you leave the bowls upside down if you are not yet eating from them i guess that says this one is free for somebody to use which is nice isn't it 
good way of knowing. Never really know. And maybe they're very, very good at cleaning bowls out, so you never know as well. Anyway, I'm just trying to get a hint of the feeling of there being lots of dishes, lots of food on the table. So we'll see. The baby heard the phone. Well, BFNXO, hi to you too, little one. Sounds like I've done some kind of Star Wars announcement. Sci-fi announcement time. I'm not really concentrating on whether or not um, all of these aspects of the bowls are in the right place. That doesn't matter to me too much. Um, yeah. Uh, if you haven't given me a follow yet, do consider giving me a follow. Um, do consider checking out some of my other tours. We'll be on the wind down section of this this tour now as we get ready for Pallavi. Pallavi is going to teach us how to create a mandala. And I've never done that before and I'm very excited to to join her. Um, I'm going to make the first page of that journal you saw me make earlier. I'm going to make it a mandala page, I think. I'm just going to be brave. I'm going to be brave and see what happens. And I think Linda would agree mandalas are a kind of maths and maths and art. So, yeah, here's a spoon over here. Quickly represent a spoon. It looks like there's another little spoon over here. Um... I've got three minutes and I'm going to use them wisely. Okay, got some white. Looks like there is rice in here. I'm adding that rice. And over here. Oh, I can add some shadows after. Still a bit wet underneath, but that doesn't matter. Go up here, there's a spoon. Over here, there is another spoon. It's amazing how much you can create without really adding many lines and things. Um, there's a jug over here. Can I convey jugness? Sure. We'll call that a jug. I'll add a hint of blue because our eyes think that water is blue all the time so if I do that then we get the feeling that there is a real jug just there I'm probably wishing this would stay up a little bit higher um we need some green food see I was planning everything and we've got two and a half minutes before we're all going to bounce over to Pallavi And you know what? I can even add some extra color myself after with different pens. Oh, there's something lovely in yellow that I want to eat in there. I think it might be made from semolina, if I recall correctly. Let me see if I can get the right yellow out of that. Um, there's another, there's a couple of balls missing, but that's okay. We don't mind and add a few little areas of detail here. And a little bit of shadow is happening down here. That's all right, I'm happy with today's effort. A little shine on the inside of the bowl. A little holder over here. There's some more bowls and things. That's okay. I can't fit them all in. We don't need to have everything in this life. Okay. Oh, there's a scarf. There we go. A scarf added. Let's have a look at the pages we've got today. I'll show you up close. There we go. The feeling of a Bhutanese, um, Bhutanese dinner here. What do you think? 
we've got 30 seconds left for you to admire this one and I'll show you the other one. Thank you very much for coming and joining me. Here you can see my abstract little representation of a little bit of food. Are you seeing a great artist in there? Maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to have everything in this life. Some people say, for example, I've got a couple of sponsored only tours. Some people say, that's not fair. I want to come to them. And I'm like, well, you know what? I don't watch TV. I don't have TV. I can't afford it. We don't need to have everything in this life. We don't. Thank you so much, everybody. You're really, really wonderful. If you've got time or money for a tip, please go ahead and share. Consider sponsoring me if you like. Please leave a review whenever, you, whenever you're ready. I'll be so grateful to read those thank you notes. Thank you so much to everyone, regardless of whether or not you've got money. Thank you so much for your most valuable thing, your time. We're on the dot one hour, so let's go and join Pallavi now. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Laurie. That's so kind of you. Thank you, Joe, for following me and Sue for following me. Cheryl, thank you so much too. I'll just say, oh, thank you, Rebecca. That's all my sponsors tipping me. So thank you so much, guys. You're so lovely. And I'll catch you in just a moment. All right. Bye. Bye from Pikachu. Hugs to you too, Mary Lee. Thank you. And welcome back, my lovely one. And thank you, Jill. That's so kind of you. See you.